Well, ladies, I'll be at Roger Gardens tonight. And, uh, Can we talk? <laughs> See, fellas trying to like that white world sex and shit. They ain't, nah, I ain't, man, I ain't doing that shit. My whole booty talk and shit. I never did the first time I tried oral sex. It was a experience I never forget. I was in between the girl legs. I said, damn, baby, you know you got a deep hole, deep hole, deep hole. You ain't had to say it that many times. <laughs> but I did, but I did, but I did. I said, hey, 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 hey. Who else, who else, who else is in here, in here, in here? <laughs> Cedric, Cedric, Cedric. <laughs> and ladies, let me tell you something about men. Something you didn't know. It's hard for some men to do all sex. We gotta pump ourselves up mentally. Starts here. We start kissing the lips, mm, baby, I love you. Mm -hmm. Kiss the neck, one do the you want, baby. Mm. Go to the chest, mm. go a little pop belly gun. <laughs> it's okay, keep wearing that body magic. We're gonna still love you, baby. We're gonna still love you. <laughs> Going down to Bush Gardens. <laughs> and then we fuck around, see that old man face with six flags. <laughs> then we make a U turn right on 95. <laughs> We're right up here to Hershey Park. That's where we are. That's where we are. <laughs> Man, the moment we've been waiting for. By a show of hands, by a show of hands, how many ladies are in all sex? Ladies, raise your hands. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'll take this whole group right here, this whole section. This whole section ain't section right here. This is especially that light skin right here, like Gina from Martin. There you go, baby. Yeah, I like you. Now see, I asked that question, and some ladies were honest. I'm glad y'all was honest, ladies. Now, y'all should have been real honest with me, because I know that some ladies didn't raise your hands. See, this light is not your ordinary light. This light has a meter on it. It's gonna let me know what woman in here is doing all sex the most and the best. Let's turn it on, shall we? Boop. 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 See, one thing about black women, black women try to like, they don't like all sex. Like, it's nasty. Why? You want to do what? Please. Mm. All right, all right, boy. Go wash that thing. <laughs> you know, fellas, we can have this shit. We haul ass in the bathroom, wash our shit. Ha, 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 yeah, girl. It's on and popping, baby. Ah. We wash the balls out real good. Ha, ah. And ladies, let me tell y'all something, a little secret. I'm sorry, man, I gotta tell them this, they need to know. Sometimes, fellas think y'all gonna get extra freaky that night. So what we do is, we wash that butthole out real good. Ah. We keep waiting till we'll see no more crap. Ah. It's like shoot crap. Ah, seven. Ah. We like a rapper from the 80s. Ah. It's like a jumper sometimes. They make one. Ah. Don't push me. Ah. All the brown go, yeah, we ready. So women gonna start off. Pay, pay close attention, y'all gonna learn something. Black women gonna start off. Oh God. Oh God, boy. All right, all right, I'm gonna do it. Damn. She wants to stay good. You know, fellas say anything. Yeah, baby, got that. Come on, come on, shit. This motherfucker just splash the water on it. I did, baby. Come on, man. But why I still stink that? Okay, I don't know, baby. All right, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I swear, boy, I swear. All right, I'm going to do it. On one, three. One. Two. Ah, ah, ah. 
Don't be pushing my head, boy. I said I'm going to do it. All right, here I go. One. Two. Hey, did you get your taxes back? State of fact. All right, all right, do it, baller. Okay, here I go. One. Two. Wait, 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 stop. I gotta ask you something that's important. Yeah, it's very important. Mm -hmm. What is this right here? <laughs> you got any peroxide? <laughs> you know, white girls, they don't care. I'll just look around it. I don't care. Huh? <laughs> I'm glad we see some white people. I'm glad y'all came out. I appreciate you guys coming out. All right, yeah. Love white people, man. But you know, white and black people are the same, but we do things different. Especially when it comes to paying bills. Yeah. White people get a bill in the mail, look at it, they write a check for it right away, fall off the mail slide. We hope. Black people are a little different, right? We get that same bill, we look at it, we're like, shit. Baby, we got 30 more days. How much that bill, baby? $683. Go down the street, pay my lottery, and I was giving $683 a dollar straight. And then we hit, we still don't pay that damn bill. But still, we notice that black old ladies from church always get spiritual when bill collectors call the house. Yes, praise the Lord, yes, hello. Yes, it's Horizon. Yes, hey, I just got back from Bible study. Yes, how can I help you, baby? Uh huh. You call, call about my bill? Yes, yes. Matter of fact, how much is my bill, baby? I'm just how blessed and how they favor the pastor had a good word. How much is my bill? How much? Twelve hundred dollars. The devil is a liar. <laughs> well, that's okay, baby. I got my check and I'm, I'm good to go. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna pay. Listen, this is number D. I'm going to put eight dollars down. <laughs> hello, Verizon. Hello, hello. Eight dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, Top Flight didn't tell y'all. I'm one of those different type of comedians. I'm one of those comedians where I do audience participation, right? So I like to have fun with the audience because I'm going to give y'all something you're going to remember me by next time I come through here, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I need to get three ladies to come on stage and help me out. I don't care who you are, we're going to have a little contest. It's going to be fun. And, and, I, and I might give away a prize, I might give away one of my DVDs, give away something. We're going to give away the top flight, I might give them a free ticket to the next show. It's going to be real simple. Contest, ladies. I guarantee you, it won't embarrass you. You better come up, ladies, and tell y'all it's real simple. What I need, I need three ladies. Three ladies, come on, just three ladies. Call them up, especially somebody celebrating a birthday. Marcia. All right, we got one, two, all right, come on up, baby. Three, all right, here we go. We got the birthday girl. All right, girl. Right. Your mama here. Okay, that's good. Mama, did, mama gonna find something out tonight. Yeah, baby. You ain't been all, you ain't been saved all your life. Come on, my mama here. What's your name, boo? T.T. T.T. Laverne. Laverne. Look, you know she old school. Laverne. We're saying her middle name, Laverne, uh, Melissa, uh, uh, who was your name? Marcia. Marcia. All right, Marcia. Now, let's go do y'all. Real funny thing. This is easy. We'll have fun doing this. Rumor has it that women sometimes fake orgasms. Look at that. Somebody say yes. So what y'all gonna do for us ladies is your best impression of a fake orgasm. This is going to be simple, real simple, all right? Let's say the birthday girl for life. Let's start with little TT here. Come on, TT. Now, TT, is your man here tonight? You don't have a man? Oh, good, goddamn. You should be able to do this real good. Man. All right, TT, you ready? All right, your best impression. You need some motivation. Want to give you some, you need some motivation? All right, we need some motivation. All right, you see my man, Cedric Entertainment, with the nice suit. Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> Look, 
Joe T.T. Let me tell the goddamn jokes, goddamn shit. There ain't no goddamn motivation. Right. Come on, T.T., let's do it. Here we go, y'all. Shh. Quiet. T.T. Fake or gas. Here we go. impression of a fake orgasm. Marcia, right? This is what we gonna do, Marcia. We gonna do it right there. Who's that? Well, yeah, that's your, that's your, who's that right there? Your cousin, your aunt right there? Your cousin? What's your cousin name right there? What on you? Her name is TT. TT, stop hating that damn. But me and Marcel gonna do this shit together. Marcia, we gonna, well, whatever the fuck her name is, we gonna do it together right there. So TT, take some notes, you gonna learn something, girl. Come on, Marcy, we're gonna do it together, baby. Let's go. Okay, Jennifer, all right, cool. 
I was gonna say Becky, but that's okay. We'll take Jennifer. All right, Jennifer. Now we gotta put this blindfold. Take your glasses off. Put me in. Hey, Jennifer. <laughs> you must be used to black guys with blindfolds on. Let me bring back some memories for you. Get in the trunk, bitch. Get in the trunk. She like, stop playing time rough, old She had a flashbacks and shit. Alright, gentlemen, I don't think you got a big ass head, gentlemen. God damn. Hey, you must have graduated the head of your class. Shit. Anybody got a safety pin? Give me a finger. Hold your breath. God damn, hold your breath. This motherfucker can fit. God damn. Alright, gentlemen. Good. You can't see, right? Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Man, this is where we'll have some fun. And I need, I need everybody to help me out with this. I'm going to call on certain gentlemen to come up on stage. Whatever y'all do, do not yell at that name. Don't say nothing. Shh, be very quiet. Jennifer cheating. Stop cheating, Jennifer. What you doing? Come on now. Don't cheat. Don't say, who are you? Yeah. I got to get my man T.I. right here. Come on up here, T.I. Come on, T.I. Oh, broke ass T.I. Come on up here. Get T.I. up here. Stay right there. Right here, right there, stand right there, dog. Let me need Jim. Hey, where my man at? Where, where the player at with the suit? Where you go? He left? Come here up here. Come on up here. You've been up here already. Come on up here. Come on up here again. Come on, baby. I got you. Something nice. You're going to have fun. Trust me. Come on up here. Oh, you got it? All right, all right, player. Oh, what? There's another guy with a little suit on, too. Where he going? A little player. Who? Who? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, get on up here, get on up here. Right there, yeah, you right there, play. Yeah, you right there with the beard. Come on up here. Come on up here. I need a hey, what about you, sir, with the white hat right there? Come on, play. I need a I need an old school player for, for one time, one time. It's only gonna make it right. What about you, sir? Right here. Yeah, like one of the old days. Come on up here, sir. This guy right here, come on up here, sir. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. God damn, like that jacket, boy. That motherfucker is nice, sir. He an old school hustler. Look at him. All right. Now, Jennifer, we're gonna play a game. All right. You familiar with that show, the dating game? You come on TV. You know that game? We're gonna play my version of the dating game. Standing behind you, Jennifer. I got three tall, sec. Okay, I got three guys standing behind you. Right? Before we get started, we're having a test to say hello to Jennifer and their most deep, sexy voice. Number one, and your sexy voice. Say hi to Jennifer. Shh, quiet, y'all, quiet. He has to concentrate. Say hi to Jennifer and your sexy voice. Jim, what's up? When you saw it at the ATL machine. Hey, Jim, let me get that money, bitch. <laughs> Yo, he did that shit too easy. <laughs> and security didn't buy his <laughs> Number two, and your sexy voice. Say hi to Jennifer. Jennifer is sexy voice. <laughs> Come on, T.I. Get this shit. How you doing, Jennifer? Shit. He's selling drugs and shit. How you doing? He's talking about that weed, baby. And last but not least, old school, and your sexy voice. Say hi to Jennifer. How you doing, Jennifer? Oh, look at this motherfucker. Yeah! You great pimp your ass, Jennifer. She, 
How you doing, Jeff? I need you to get out on the streets. And... <laughs> Alright, now Jeff, I want to ask these gentlemen some questions. You can't see them, but the audience can. They're going to let you know which one gave the best answer by their reaction. Very right, simple. First question, fellas. Imagine all three of you are hot, sexy supermodels. When I call, it's your number. Step forward and give us your sexiest pose. That's real simple. Real simple. Number two, step right over here. Right there, number two. And pose. Pose sexy. Right there. Right there. Step up and pose. That's it. He said you gotta get daddy. Come on, number two. <laughs> trying to make us lose our fucking liquor license. Come on, man. Alright, and pose! This motherfucker pose like he waiting for the bus. Stand back, stand back. Stand back, number two. Number three, step up, sir, and pose. Sexy. Pose! This motherfucker pulled like he pissing in the alley and shit. And last but not least, number one, step up, sir, and pose. Sexy. Pose! Well, you can tell number one was locked up before. So. I only got two more questions, fellas. Fellas! Jennifer want to get an idea of what you guys are working with from the waist down. From the waist down. She want to know how y'all pack it. So, if you could base your love muscle, your Johnson, if it was named at the piece of candy, what piece of candy would it be? Now, think of all the candy you saw in the stores, all the candy you saw as a kid growing up. What candy would you say best describe how well you're packing? Now, fellas, let me just say this. Whatever candy y'all say tonight is going to stick with you the rest of your fucking life. So you better think hard, goddamn it. Think hard. That's all to you, number three. What's the first piece of candy to come to your mind, sir? Say the candy canes. <laughs> Yo, Jennifer, that shit hooks to the left. You know that, right? Hooks to the left, man. Number two, one piece of candy. You representing how you pack it, sir. Oh, shit. Hey, Jen, that's packed a lot of nuts. Number one, what piece of candy would you say best describe how well you're packing, sir? 100 grand. Damn! 100 grand. He meant to say, I wish I would call it, but that's okay. We'll take that. Okay. This is going to be an easy question. And the audience, please do not help these guys out. They got to do this on their own. Fellas, imagine you making love in the bedroom. You are having your business. And a movie title appears underneath the bed to show how well you handle your business. What movie title would that be to show how well you do on the damn thing? All right? Let's start with the man himself, Mr. Snicker Bar himself. Since he got a lot of nuts and shit. What movie would you say best describe how, how, how you handle yourself in the bedroom? She gotta have it. Oh shit. This motherfucker came to play, goddammit. This motherfucker did his homework. Start twisting. Oh, damn, man. All right, number one, what movie, sir? Stella got a groove back. Damn. I'm impressed, number one. I'm impressed. I thought you were gonna say God in sixty seconds. Huh?
Number, number three. Bring it on home, baby. Show these little young bucks how it's done properly, sir. What movie would you say best describe how you handle your business in the bedroom? Sex in the city. It, it is. They did make it a movie, but I thought he was gonna say old yellow, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I thought, I thought he was saying the color purple. <laughs> you too hard to beat me. <laughs> All my life I had to fight him. <laughs> Alright, our last and final question. DJ, you ready? <laughs> Fellas, imagine all three of you were exotic dancers. <laughs> and check this out. Check this out. Hold tight, hold tight. This is easy. This is going to be easy. Trust me, number three is going to be easy for you, baby. Just wait. Listen out. Listen up. Just hold me out. Hold tight. Number three. I'm going to show you how easy it's going to be for you. Check this out. Imagine all three of you were inside the dance. Jennifer got 10,000 ones in her motherfucking purse right now. She's going to make it rain 10,000 times for y'all. And you got to show how you handle yourself to get that goddamn money. And check this out, y'all. We got a song that fits each and every one of y'all personalities. I personally chose these songs because I knew the type of man I was dealing with. DJ, you ready? Let's get this party started. We're contestant number one. Hit it! Oh, shit. Come on, baby. What you got? What you got? Work that shit, baby. Work, work, work. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Work that shit. Oh. song for you, number three. The perfect song for you. Back in the day, baby, when you was the shit. DJ, you ready? We flew a bit all the way from Trenton. 